tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study in my vision and she ain't from the city. If she ain't foreign, then she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 3. We are heading to the parking lot to see if we can't get some candies with some Randys. But before we actually get tandems, I want to talk to you guys about the rules and restrictions for the Drift Invitational. So I'm going to go through the rule books, which will be a link in the description if you want to see the rule book. So we're going to go through the rules here and then uh, get back to some tandies. So I wanted to go over some of the rules here for the EVL Drift Invitational in Forza Horizon 3. So basically, uh, I will be running a tandem competition, invite only, no qualifying, random draw of the hat. We'll start with grade eight. We'll start with top eight, grade eight, basically, and maybe move on to 16 drivers if uh, we get a good enough, uh, you know, interest in it. So a couple of the rules that we're going to be do going and are very strict for this series is we're going to be limiting to no Horizon Edition vehicles, no DLC cars such as Hoonigan cars will be allowed. So, um... Other, also restrictions on cars are going to be any vehicles that are tires are wider than the ones listed below and as for mods on vehicles these are the main restrictions um, for this championship series is basically the vehicle mods to make all the cars very similar uh, mods are required on the vehicle all cars must have a full roll cage all vehicles must be between 500 and 600 horsepower and be equipped with sport tires only now, the reason I'm doing sport tires is Yes, I know it's very similar to ESDA, but sport tires are a very good tire compound for grip and speed and be going, you know, to get sideways. So, and I'm doing a 500, 600 horsepower, like I said in the prior video, to keep it uh, more of a lower horsepower street tuned cars. Now, the other biggest thing that is going to be in effect is the actual tire size based on weight of vehicle. This is very important to keep the cars very... Um, matched when it comes to grip levels so that there's not a car that weighs 2,800 pounds and is running a huge wide 315 tire and is just gripping and leaving. So tires are based on weight as you can see here you if you're 21 to you know 2,400 pounds basically you're at a you know max tire width of a 240 and it goes on all the way down to a 315 or higher. Uh, tires over 315 and width are um, not allowed unless approved by Team Evil Rabbit, so I don't even know why I have it higher. Oh, wait, that's weight. Ha! <laughs> 3,300 pounds or higher is a 315. Max is 315. If you have a car that is higher than a 315 rear tire, um, you can shoot me a message, and I will consult with the rest of the team and see if we're allowed, we'll allow that car. Um, vehicle upgrades for the cars. Cars are allowed to be equipped with any types of upgrades, motor swaps, or anything on those lines as long as it keeps it between 500 and 600 horsepower underlined above, which is basically you can do motor swaps and aspiration changes, but it's got to stay within 500 to 600 horsepower. Um, I know a lot of people that I'm are going to be competing are going to probably be pushing trying to get that 599 or 600 or 598 or 600 exactly, which is fine as long as it's 600 max uh, as for handling all handling mods will be accepted including rally suspension we will be allowed to run rally suspension in this series uh, definitely is nice to have a little more steering angle and soft suspension so we are going to be allowing rally suspension which is uh, different than a lot of the other people that run in horizon 3 um, braking all braking is allowed body kits arrow however you want to do a wide body that's all fine as well um just make sure you're under that 500 to 600 horsepower and that your tires are within your max width spec per weight of vehicle and that's weight after all the modifications all uh, all cars must have the evl door card with your gamer tag and flag as shown in these two diagram pictures uh it can be found just by searching evl rabbit 07 um, my gamer tag and you will be able to find it. It is the EVL with the, the teal and blue um, behind the EVL. There is another one that is EVL and it's red and black but the teal and blue is the one we will be using. Make sure your gamer tag and flag is on there as well. And then basically just goes down to the competition saying it's a grade 8 bracket style no qualifying and then all the rules. You can read all these you want. Um, I'll leave the link for this in the description box below if you guys want to refer back to it. So if you guys want to compete in this make sure you guys 
comment on this video or the video prior whoever commented on that I already have you guys written down in a list um, I will be keeping a list going of people that want to compete see how many we have maybe we'll go to top 16 maybe we'll have more depending on how many people want to join so I guys I hope you guys are as hyped as I am to do this little championship I know the guys from evil rabbit are definitely excited to do it as well hamster MK urgent uh, we've been wanting to do this for a while, just there's been a, some uh, setbacks in a sense. So we are back to doing this. Um, I am going to do my best, an absolute best, to do more than just one every month because I would like to have more than just one and you know four or five people invited and get a lot of you guys involved. So like I said, I will leave the link down in the description box below for this rules. If you guys want to see the rules and everything like that, make sure you click on the link. Make sure you guys build the car to spec and put those door cards on. And uh, hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys. So we're going to head back to the game and uh, get some slides on and uh, shake down this V8S13 that I'm in. But, you know, we'll see if I actually use that V8S13 or if I change different cars. So... So unfortunately, I was not able to find that session with some random. So we are here now, just cruising the streets. We're gonna go run the section that I think we're gonna run for the first event. But I wanted to be able to give you guys a little lowdown on the rules for the car restrictions and such, so that if you guys do want to get the car and maybe get acclimated with the car and the tires and such, uh, like I said, I will be doing the first one as a invite for eight. Um, I pretty much have those people already invited. I just gotta send the invites out. For everybody else that wants to be a part who commented on the first video, I will be doing more probably you know, very you know short intervals in between with a lot of people. So to get back into tandems here on Horizon 3 and have some fun with subscribers and other people other than just the team, and to take a little uh, laid back approach to some tandem competition because Horizon 3 is definitely a lot more laid back when it comes to tandeming than say Forza Motorsport 7 um, and I do enjoy Horizon 3 a lot so I believe the section that I'm probably thinking about running is going to be very similar to this I haven't fully decided which one I want to run yet we'll pretty much start at that line and initiate at the island bringing the car out as wide as possible, close to there, and getting the rear tires out into this half mark, clipping that island as well as that island if you can, and getting your tires out into that half mark over here, and then bringing it back around. If I could actually drift right now, I'm going to run this fully, and then basically come through here, swallow through here, and bring your car out to the yellow as well, and then keep it nice and clean around here and finish off by that island. So let's see if we can't get a full run in and see how that works. And uh, I think that's one of the sections I'll be running. I'll be definitely going through a lot of other sections here in the parking lot as well as on the street. So we're gonna get this one run and see if we can't get it right. As best as we can right now. Initiate by the island. A little bit shaky there. Bring it out to the hash marks. Don't want to go too far on that island, and apparently I am not as smooth as I'd want to be. So I'm running this way to that island. That island, bringing it back around. Not spinning out because, you know, Forza Horizon 3 is like so much different than Forza Motorsport 7, and I've been on 7 again, getting my car ready for ESDA. So let's give this another shot, shall we? I just achieved something. So we're going to initiate in. Bring it out nice and wide. There we go. Get it through here, right on those hashes. Cut it across. Clip that island. Clip that island. Not out to the hash that I want to be. And apparently my car is just over rotating today. So, you guys get the idea. I just wanted to bring this up to you guys for bringing the main rules and such for the invite drift sessions. That's better, island, island, out to the white. Nice and far out to the wall. Put 
jumping that island, staying here, staying this way. Let's keep breaking here. And clutch kick into the yellow hash. Out to the wall. Around that island and finishing it off straight. So that was actually a decent one. So, like I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit episode on the rules and such for my EVR Drift Invitational. If you guys want to be comment down on this video, if you didn't comment on the ones before, I will be sending the invites out here shortly to the first people in the first eight. And I will be bringing that, all that footage to the channel for you guys to watch, and then I'll be inviting more people for the next one. But the car rules will stay the same. And uh, there may be some repeat invites into some of the sessions with my the main team of myself who will also be helping me judge as well as maybe the winner of the first invitational that I do will probably get an invite back to the second. So until next time guys we'll probably make sure to share and share all the fun description box below. As always I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.